Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to, well, Project Temesis, I suppose. Welcome back to Doom. It's been a while since we had a proper Doom outing, and I'm excited to bring you this one because I think I've found a good combination of things which should translate to a, a good old fashioned hoedown. Um, so, Project Temesis, you remember this if you saw the uh, Doom 2 The Way I Did series. Um, cool uh, pack. This is actually not the stock version, this is actually been modified by uh, a fan of the channel, Billy, Bob, Bo, Billy, I hope that's enough Billy's, maybe a lad. maybe an extra Billy, Billy for good luck, Billy for good luck, uh, has hacked it a little bit and added some extra balance features. Um, of course he also says I have to play the game on Masochist, now I've not played this on Masochist, I've got no idea what to expect, um, it's anything like Nightmare and Doom, this is going to go very badly. Um, relentless foes, unfaithful defences, less luck, more pain. Is this what you want? That's what I was born for. Come on, bring it to me. It's this wad in all its creepy glory. This is Valhalla by Ed Cripps that I'm going to show to you all today. Are we running? I don't know. I think it's, it seems like it always runs on. Uh, let me just check. Off. That seems to make any difference, doesn't it? Okay. I guess we're always running. Um, so this is Valhalla by Ed Cripps, and I have to say, um, having already played this a bit, this is a really cool map. Really, really cool. Not in terms of like sheer outlandishness, but just in terms of like attention to detail and what what he's managed to do with the Doom engine. I mean, just look at this. Look at this out the window. It's incredible. I mean, most most Quake maps didn't look this good. Most, most Quake 2 maps didn't look this good. Um, this mod was uh, built in 2010. It's only one map. Just this map. Uh, so, let's press on. Um, I'm not going to use the cheap jumper things too much, mostly because the map doesn't support them. Uh, but hey, they're, they're part of the experience in some ways. Um, I'm going to try and comment on some of the architectural things I like as well. But it's important to know that most of the resources that are in this are either part of Doom or um, were made by the the guy responsible, which is really cool. You always you always got to love that when um, it's a passionate uh, a passion a work of passion, I should say. Someone who's actually developed all the things they wanted to put into it by themselves. Our first foe! Just a lowly little machine gunner, that's fine. We can take him out. Easy. Well, this masochist isn't so bad, is it? Uh oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right there. I guess we're not going through here. Apparently out of our mind. Which is good. I've always, I've always felt like that. Well, let's see what all the commotion's about then. Oh dear. So already, things are kicking off properly and I am already running out of armour. It's fantastic. Now, even from just playing this normally, without Project MSX, I already know that there are serious problems with ammo. Oh shit. Ow, that wasn't smart. So, we're gonna try and not frivolously waste our ammo. Oh boy, here we go. Speaking of wasting our ammo, come on, give me some fucking infighting or something. Help me out here. No. Fuck you. What? What? Oh, fucking invisible demons. No. No. Oh, oh shit. Didn't expect that. So, 
Billy has not really explained what the changes that he's made are, and I'm just kind of hoping that the change isn't to have introduced a screamer or like a giant cock or um, for fuck's sake. No, I didn't want that. Where did my grenade go? Did I already throw it? Did I not have one? Right. Okay, we have some ammo. Good. Ah, come on, guys. Just cut. Cut me some slack, alright? It has been a long, long day. Okay, good. Good. Plenty of ammo. Plenty of guns. I guess we're not going through there then. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's fine. Don't need to go through there. So. That just looks like a setup, doesn't it? What have we got more ammo for? Ah, damn it! I don't know why I'm using that little scope. Oh, fuck off! What the fuck do you think you're doing there, buddy? Ow! Fuck that! That was a lot of damage. Well, maybe not to fucking fight with that guy again, though, are you? Yeah. Come on, then. That was a good shot, like. That was a less good shot. What have we got? Let's not do that. We need that. We need that ammo. That delicious ammo. It's gonna no doubt be really important. Ah. Spooky. The music is particularly good, I think, it kind of setting the, the Oh shit. Setting the flunk getting shot by every fucker of oh god. Oh they're fighting, good. I'm a fan. Come on then. Come on then. Where's where's a Yes, excellent. Come on. Fisticuffs! Fisticuffs, my my good man. Alright, okay, we all loaded. Yes. Good. Good. Oh shit. Feel we came out of that alright? Pretty good at least. I, I, oh shit. Always be weary when the game hands you big guns. Almost certainly means time for you to fight some big monsters. With your pistol, of course. Ah, stop. Ugh. What are we doing here? Ah. You have been possessed by a lost soul. Damn it. I guess we're playing the full boss trail. It's a shame. Damn those lost souls. They're always possessing me. Oh shit. Ow. Uh, okay. Not this gun. Fuck off, just, just... Yes, so... Um, tangentially related to this, I've been playing the... Or I had been playing the Doom, the new Doom, Doom 2016 during the open beta. Which is just the multiplayer. And I wanted to do a video about it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I didn't want to record. Um, and just as an aside here, I have to say the the lighting, the lighting overall in this ward is just it's absolutely spot on. But like here in particular, is really cool because the way he's, he's done it. People who aren't familiar with Doom map mapping might not exactly understand, but um, because Doom uses sector based lighting, but well, most 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 uh, traditional maps do anyway. Um, things like this 
he would have actually had to paint out like all of this area and say what brightness it is. So you can imagine to get all of this looking exactly how he's done it here, it's just it's just mind boggling. And the the atmosphere as well is just just perfect. It reminds me a, a, a bit of flow with this kind of um, sort of grimy industrialness. Kind of like a quake map, but. Quake didn't really have the tech base, this kind of tech base anyway, it did have the... I think that was a good call. And like little bits like this, I mean, how cool is that? What is that? Concussion pulse rifle. I've not even used one of these yet. Shock mode, pulse mode. Okay. Shock mode sounds good. Cool. What are you doing over there? Come on then. Get whacked, matey. Yeah. I knew that one was coming. Spoiler. Guess we're coming back here. Spooky switch. You know what happens when you pull a switch in this game or series, Sam? It means an ass kicking is up and coming. Perfect. My ass needs a good kicking. Uh, yeah, so um, Doom 2016. And I have to say, people who are critical of it, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I think it has definite flaws. This is coming from someone who you know, really likes Quake 3 and the likes. Um, I think... It has a way to go to really sell itself to people who are big fans of the franchise. It seems to have hit a unpleasant middle ground of appealing to people who aren't familiar, but not actually appealing to people who are familiar in the same degrees. I don't like all this. Makes me very nervous. Let's, uh... Oh, shit! Right, okay. Shot modes. No. Other one. Okay, that's what that does. Fucking invisible revenants, who comes up with that? Oh shit, oh shit. Fuck. Very risky running into a firefight with a rocket launcher like that. Uh, let's just let's just quickly drop a save. I think that's a good idea. Valhall. I don't know what that means. Like this as well. Just, this is so cool. Very very tense. What's going on in here? We need a blue card to activate this object, but we can see a yellow card. Very ominously. That's dark. Oh shit. Run. Fuck you, come on. Get punched, you dickheads. Wow, he fucking came out quick, didn't he? Come on then, ow. Wow. He fucking wrecked me with that. I was getting too cocky. I fell for my hubris. I fell in my hubris, it was really painful. No secret things hiding around here. Just lots of cool atmosphere. It's one that it games commenter wrote, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife, which sounds about right to me. Hello guys. Yeah, I was trying to incite a bit of 
monster insists he was fighting. Seems to be working quite well. Whoa, okay. Obviously. Sort it out. What's interesting, I suppose, is that Revan actually behaves more like the one in the new game game. Which I'm still going to try and talk about. Jesus Christ, how much health have you got? Skitty Malinky. Right. Okay. Another thing we can't get. Good. Good. What gun have we got ammo for? This has got loads of ammo. So we should be giving this shotgun a bit of love. Um, okay, well. It all looks fine back there. I'm assuming that's where the start was. Oh, fucking hell. No. Right, okay. Justify, I think, to use big guns and like all these freaking cackers. I'm going to blow myself up. Pin him down? What the hell are you guys intending to do? And why haven't you told me about it? Because then I would be much more willing to participate. No. No. Come on. That's the one. Anti-aircraft extraordinaire. Um, Doom game, yes. Uh, but I suppose in some ways it's a shame that they, they couldn't have found some happy medium between what they announced as like the, the Doom 4, you know, the thing that everyone was filled with bile against and, and what they have now. You know, with architecture like oh shit. What we're seeing in this, I think it's gonna be quite cool. He just fucking started through that, didn't he? He's like, I don't give a shit about your fucking grenade. Throw it somewhere else. I'm picking that shit up. Excuse me. Uh, one of the things that um, annoys some gamers, some Doom gamers in particular, is uh, this backtracking. Not everybody likes backtracking for a million miles. I'm going to quickly just drop up. Fuck. Daydreaming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Right. Yes. Um. Oh fuck. I keep switching to that gun and hasn't got any fucking ammo. Holy shit. I don't even want to know what a fucking art file does in, in this particular wad. Do we have infinite ammo for this thing? No, I don't think we do. Oh shit. Uh, good. 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 I don't have the HUD up that lets me know how we're progressing. We don't have any secrets. Um, I think I know where one is, but <clears throat> my voice went there. But even like this. Look at this. I mean, that at a glance almost looks like a flat texture, but it's not. It's actually a little recessed light. The attention to detail. Mm, it's, it's beautiful. 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 It's, it's just very tense and it seems to really have lifted the difficulty up a notch because having played bits of this, we could do it again. I don't give a shit if it's cheap. We're not going to die, watch. We're going to just fucking ace it. Um. Obviously, the, the guys who have been... No, let's not do that. I've, I've openly said that they have been inspired by Brutal Doom. Which I guess is, is fine. I mean, I personally don't care for Brutal Doom very much. I, I, it's not my cup of tea. I feel it, it tampers with the pattern of the game a bit too much. Um, you could argue that MSX does that as well, but MSX is what I would... Oh, fuck you. I was not expecting that. The fucking the fuck is with these guys? It delivers a very different experience. Ow, 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 ow. Oh shit. 
You're in trouble. Have a fucking nade, mate. Whoa. Lovely. I hear you down there. Shit. Oh, fuck off. He might be a fucking skeleton, but he certainly hasn't lost his balls. Fucking charging in there like that. Fuck me. Oh, took it there. Whoa. Okay. Alright. I think a grenade is what's called for here. Might as well use these water conveniences while we've got them. How? Then again, I suppose if Doom 2016 was anything like this, then people would have accused it even further of just being, you know, kind of derivative. Because a lot of the concepts in this game are, are from other games. Certainly the graphics are, in a lot of cases. Can't even track this fucker. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the, the new Doom game. I mean, I'm even wearing a fucking Doom t-shirt as we speak. So, I, I, I do hope it does well, and yeah, assuming they don't release a game with like a five minute single player experience, which is kind of what I'm expecting is going to happen. Cool. Um, assuming they don't do that, then I, I'll certainly consider picking it up, but I'm not one for pre-ordering things. I, I don't buy into that sort of thing. I don't like this idea of pre-ordering stuff without having a clue of what it's going to be like. I suppose that save was unnecessary. Oh, fuck off! That's a lot of baddies. Kind of wasted that shotgun shell. That one too. Oh shit now. Shit man. Get out of there. Why did I do that? Holy fucking crap. This guy's not fucking around. Is he down? We've lost an incredible amount of ground here. Right. Okay. Load up, you fuck. Absolutely nuking my frame rate at this thing. Fuck off, fuck's sake. <sighs> right. <clears throat> Let's just check all of our guns are stocked and loaded. We step out here. You cheeky mates doing up there. So, uh, Ed Cripps has made some other ones, and based solely off of this, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, fucking Christ! The fucking shitty wildebeest. The shitty furry wildebeest conventions. Kicked off in full fucking force. Fuck you. Um, oh yeah, this this doesn't look like a setup at all. Doesn't look like the right gun to me. What do you guys think? I don't think so. I think this is the gun we want. Like these fans as well. Oh God, it just God. Oh. Oh, that doesn't seem so bad. Whoa! Fuck off. Right. No. 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 Okay. Right. And a lost soul, just because why not? Lost souls, right? Oh, we haven't got any fucking grenades, have we? You. No. 
Just oh fuck! What the dickhead? It's a little shotgun shell on the floor. Probably from me. Even like these little windows are broken and stuff. Oh, so good, so good, you guys. Just love the the atmosphere in this. I think it complements this um this wad set quite nicely. So uh, red key. Now we need to try and recall back where we saw red key door. Do you remember where we saw red key door? I do. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I see. Yeah, I just remembered. That's fucking bad. Oh fuck off! I know we're gonna do something really bad, but I get the feeling these guys might actually kill us. Just because. Whoa, 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 holy fuck, that gave me a fright, Whew. my whole heart race a little bit there, fuck me, I hear monster, I hear monsters indeed. Where are they? Whoa! Oh, I got no ammo left. <laughs> Fuck! I don't know why I'm bringing this up. Jesus, look at the fucking just oh, the geometry in this map is just crazy. Me, you cheeky cunts. Oh god, they're fighting with each other. That's good. Let's get a, just a massive uh, clusterfuck of infight going on. Good. Good. I'm not sure you can actually hit us, but... I don't know why he was firing at him. How could he possibly have hit you from there? Jesus Christ. Enough. Guys, come on. Ow. 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 Why do I keep doing that? You little shit up there. Fucking stop that. Ugh! So mad! Okay, so this is that little bit that was overlooking the spawn. The map start, I should say, not the spawn. Cool. We have pushed the button. Seem to raise that little platform. I guess that means we can go up there. That looks like a funnel time, right? Let's just let's just quickly save, just for good measure, right? You would tell if I'd be jump cutting because my ability to edit anything is not very good. Hello. <clears throat> Dispatched like any good monster should be. Cheap. Very cheap. Not fighting on fair grounds at all. Right. Okay. You know what's gonna happen, right? You know, you know this is a setup, don't you? Look at this switch. We are taking the attitude that we need to just keep our beautiful little butt running around and hope that we do not get stuck too much 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, that didn't go good, did it? Okay. Um. Need to remember which guns actually have ammo. I also think we need to use the nail shotgun. This gun is going to be our saviour when we run out of pew pew for this thing. Well, we were going to die at one point, and I really didn't know what to expect out of that fight. I've, I've, I've had, I knew what was going to happen there, and uh, yeah, Project MSX makes it pretty fucking brutal. And there was no end fighting like I was hoping either. I think it's the, the, the machine gun has actually become oh fuck far more problematic the longer you leave them shit shit oh fuck ah uh, no no right fuck just move just move 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 Jesus I dread to even think of the state of our ammunition after that fight. Wow. Wow. But hey, we did it, guys! We did it! We didn't, uh, we didn't die. That's good. Isn't it? Whatever. I'm sure when I played this through it before, I found this a secret. We don't seem to have found it in this playthrough, but. That's alright, I don't think it would have done as much good in all honesty. Let's just save again. We only died once, that's acceptable for someone who pretends to be competent enough at Doom to be wearing a Doom team. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, matey! Fuck you! None of that! Dick! It doesn't look like they actually revive people, uh, people, enemies, in Project MSX. Maybe I should be pleased with that. Uh, oh, hello. He got knocked back by that. That's good. Put an extra shell in our gun. We're gonna have to fight kind of bullshitty terms here. I can hear like a something roaming around. All this shit. Um, I think I was talking about backtracking. Yeah, some some gamers, well, some Doom players in particular, don't like backtracking because it kind of the blue key at last. So the blue door was down there, wasn't it? Is that the house we needed to look at? I think so. Um Well, okay. Blue door. Blue door it is. The blue door leads to the exit. I'm kinda of surprised. Have we got any secrets? No, we got none. I'm sure I got a secret before. I can't remember. And to be honest, it was like a fucking ultra sphere or something anyway, so I, I'm not really that fast. Uh, adventure! Well, that was it. <clears throat> Zero. Well, there's only two. I don't feel that bad about missing two secrets. Come on, timer. 31, 37. It's okay. It's okay. It's quite. I did it, I'm sure I did it about 20 minutes, but hell, that was quite a lot more punchy. Um, wow, okay, well, thanks a lot to Billy Bob Bo Billy for his modifications to um, Project MSX. I didn't realise that the nightmare difficulty in this was so playable, because that was, that was pretty good. It, it added a real um, a real edge to it, and that map's just fantastic. I'm going to check out 
uh, some of Ed Cripps' other work because I'm really curious about some of the other things he's done. If you follow along the same vein, they're going to be absolutely amazing. Um, but I think that's it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I want to get more Doom. I did enjoy my Doom. I had a big plan for some Doom related stuff for the new Doom game, but hey, it went nowhere. Uh, so that's I was six years old. I just it was just amazing, wasn't it? I thought it was amazing. Hopefully you did too. Thanks for watching, everybody. No, I don't think so. Bye.